So the, the point of that discussion, or this discussion, is that material performance is different than assembly performance. And sometimes we want to sacrifice material performance to improve assembly performance. Now, who's contrary, who's, who's, whose view of the world is different? Well, the manufacturer of the material. The materials manufacturers are more interested in their material than they are in the assembly. So you have shingle manufacturers getting all bent out of shape when we build unvented conditioned attics. Well, yeah, the roof membrane, the shingles are going to last 10% less because of the Arrhenius equation, blah, 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 blah. But the, the, the improvement in the building is insanely big. So it's okay for me to give up a little bit of this to get a whole bunch of that. And so um, it's hard to rely on manufacturers all of the time. You all are going to have to apply something called judgment. Oh my God, judgment? That's, 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 that's insane. So let me tell you about judgment. Good judgment comes from experience and experience comes from bad judgment. I have a lot of experience. <laughs> I like to point out that failure has made me the man that I am today. So you learn a great deal more from a failure if you analyze it than from a success because you don't understand what really led to the success, but you, if you think about it carefully enough, you'll figure out why the failure occurred. Um, when I was first starting a long time ago, um, people actually were open about talking about their failures now because of litigation and risks and the, nobody's willing to talk about things. So, you know, late at night when, you know, the, the old folks get together and they talk everything off the record, that's when you learn about what works and what doesn't work. And that's kind of, that's kind of insane. And if somebody comes out today and writes about or speaks about potential failures, you know, you know the mob descends upon them. And that's a problem. Uh, so. I, uh, I don't have much of an issue now that I'm old. I get to tell the truth because, you know, what can you do to me now at this stage? Um, the folks that taught me were old and they also told me that, you know, young Joseph, the failure, you got to understand the failure. That's, that's what it's all about. I mean, the medical profession used to be phenomenal that way. You basically get together once a week and you talk about the patients that died, right? Good luck with that discussion happening today. Um, my dad grew up in the aeronautical industry, and, you know, dealing with plane crashes, and you were incredibly honest and open about everything because people, you know, died, and you now the information is hidden. It's you know, it's it's insane. So I'm not encouraging you uh, to do failure. I'm encouraging you to understand failure and maybe quietly communicate it to others as, as you've learned these lessons. Otherwise, we don't get a chance to, 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 to improve.